Hi there, my name is Sim and welcome to Sims Racing. In today's video I'll be doing something I haven't done before, which is to review a piece of Sim Racing gear or equipment, more specifically the Sequential Shifter by Aeolox. If you want to check out Aeolox after watching the review, feel free to do so, I've put a link to their website in the description of the video. Now I am by no means an expert when it comes to mechanics or mechanical engineering whatsoever, so keep that in mind. Instead I'll tell you the story of how I got my hands on this beauty, what it looks like and comes with, and my experience testing it for several hours. If you do want to watch an in-depth review of Aeolox's shifter as well as the handbrake, I suggest you check out Boosted Media's video on the topic. He is an actual expert when it comes to sim racing gear and goes into intricate detail reviewing both. You'll find a link to his video in the description below. And just a heads up, if you are primarily interested in the Aeolox Shifter review and not the story behind it, because even though it is very interesting, I do go on a bit, you can skip to the timecode on the screen in the bottom left. So with that out of the way, let's jump right in. So about 9 months ago, Timothy Mabbitt, a dear friend of mine, asked me if I wanted to design a custom livery for one of the Dirt Rally 2.0 championships he was organising, called the GCRC Greek and Cyprus Rally Championship by WRC Gamers Club, which is a bit of a mouthful. Being the person that I am, I was happy to help him out. The result was this beautiful livery on the Skoda Fabia R5 Evo. It has a number of sponsors on there that actually sponsored the championship itself and offered prizes for the winners of various categories at the end of it. And as you probably noticed, the main sponsor on the car was Aeolox. Timothy being Timothy, he kept asking if I wasn't interested in joining the championship. It would create some fun rallying competition for me personally, but also link the name of a decently skilled driver to the championship, which might draw in more drivers. Now, I hadn't done any competitive rallying since reaching the semi-finals of the official Dirt Rally World Series at the end of 2020. Back then I was going through some tough times and completely left the competitive scene after that. Basically what happened was that I put so much time and effort into it that I burnt myself out. Combining that with certain struggles I was going through in my personal life and I couldn't find any enjoyment in joining championships at the time or even just playing the game for that matter. Eventually I gave in to Timothy's demands and told him I would join this one championship and only this one just for the fun of it. I even selected the Peugeot 208 T16 R5 which is not the most competitive car in its class. The reasoning behind it being, I love that car and not being able to fight for wins will prevent me from going down that all in rabbit hole, putting in hours upon hours of testing just to win events. I even set myself boundaries or limits on how long I would spend testing and driving. However, after just a couple of rounds, whilst at the same time keeping myself within those set boundaries, I was able to compete with the top drivers. Over the years I've been able to quickly find a strong pace, driving on the limit but never really crossing that line. Some of the younger competitors were definitely quicker but made mistakes which I was able to benefit from. Being Mr. Consistency throughout the whole championship, I was able to clinch the triple crown at the end of the final round, something that made me extremely happy of course. I finished on the top step in the overall standings of the championship as well as in my class which was R5 and the power stage standings. That resulted in three prizes coming my way, one being the airlock shifter I'll dive into in just a second. Before doing that I do want to show some extra gratitude towards Timothy Mabbitt for being such a great lad and organiser as well as all the sponsors of the championship and every driver that I competed with. It was an absolute blast and I'm very glad to have been part of it even though it took Timothy a while to convince me. Now moving on to the main part of the video, the Aeolox Sequential Shifter. Before the GCRC Championship I hadn't heard about Aeolox or their products even though I'm very active in the sim racing community. I thought to myself I'll test it out and see what it's like, because I had no idea what to expect. I didn't have any high expectations which made my initial experience with the Aeolox Shifter all the more surprising. As you can see it's a very compact piece of equipment, especially compared to other gear of similar purpose. When I first opened the box it was very securely packaged with bubble wrap so there wouldn't be any damage during transport. With the airlock shifter as well as the handbrake you have the option to fit it to your cockpit using their clamp or hard mount it with this plate. Mine does not allow to do the latter unfortunately so I have to fit it with the clamp. However I do want to show you the various options of how you can hard mount it. You can do it both from the side or the bottom. If you use the clamp like I do you obviously have only one option. The shifter as well as the handbrake you can buy have the same basic and easy to use design. No extra bells or whistles which is something I prefer personally. Thanks to the plexiglass cover on top you can even see the internals at work. The rest is all stainless steel giving you that rough industrial look which I really like. The product as a whole is extremely sturdy and of great quality which was somewhat of a shock considering the price it's going for nowadays. 
After just a few minutes I got the shifter put together, clamped to the cockpit and connected to my PC. I took the leaflet with instructions searching for what software I needed to install in order to make it work. To my amazement there's no software installing or setting up involved at all. It truly is a plug and play piece of gear. All I had to do was go into the game settings, map it and I was ready to go. Now the big question is of course, what's it like to use? Well, I was pleasantly surprised by the way it feels. First of all, the shifter knob is just the perfect size for my small baby hands to grab onto. Secondly, the resistance when pulling or pushing to change gear is spot on in my opinion. Whilst the Trustmaster TH-8A shifter barely has any, the Trustmaster TSS Sparker Mod Handbrake slash Sequential Shifter gives a bit too much resistance, though you can adjust that for the latter. Going through the gears with the airlock shifter is very satisfying. It doesn't have the largest throw, but for rallying it's ideal as you are changing gear constantly. Something else I really like is the mechanical click when you shift up or down. Initially I was worried that the shifter might be moving about somewhat using the clamp. However, to my surprise once more, it stays 100% in place. It sticks to my cockpit like it was actually bolted onto it. Right, so my final thoughts. The airlock shifter is made from very strong materials, there isn't much that can go wrong which is a major plus and it feels fantastic to drive with. Based on the sturdiness and its quality, I wouldn't be surprised if this piece of gear works well for over a decade without fault. All things considered, it really is a hidden gem I think, as you get a lot of bang for your buck. I am truly and extremely pleased to be able to add the airlock shifter to my cockpit. Despite the video sounding like a paid promotion, which it definitely is not, I am really that surprised and overjoyed by it. And even though this particular shifter was a prize I received for winning the GCRC championship, I'm seriously considering to get my hands on their handbrake as well to complete the set. Ahem, <coughs> airlocks, <coughs> are you listening? Hey, now to mind, now to mind, notch, notch, now to mind, sign them all. And with that said and done, it's time to end the video. Again, if you are interested in Aeolox's gear, check out the description of the video where you will find links to their website and social media pages. Furthermore, if you enjoyed the video and found it in any way helpful, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out to reach more like-minded fans like yourself. That's it from me, thank you very much for watching, enjoy the rest of your day and see you in the next one.